before. A really good friend, and he had this problem with dandruff. I mean, we tried everything with him. Nutritional approaches we've tried, emotional approaches we've tried, adjustments, anything you could think of. He came into my office one day and he literally bent over and did this. He does that and I'm looking, there's nothing. And I, I, I couldn't believe it. And then he, he says, well I got this stuff. And it turned out to be the plankton, the phytoplankton. And I said, well what did you do with it? Did you put it on your head? He said, no, I just took it internal. And I said, well how long have you been doing this? And it wasn't even a week. It wasn't even a week till it was completely gone. When I saw that, I mean, lights went off all over the place. I mean, for, for that to have an internal product to have that kind of effect on an external problem like that, it means that it had to do something amazing internally. Testing each batch to ensure the quality control come first at the conclusion of each batch. Yeah, every batch I look at, I mean, there's always, uh, there's always a concern that uh, some condition has gone, has gone awry and you have to make sure that all the species are, are benign. Whether it will be your health, energy, pH or just life force, let phytoplankton work with your body the way it works with Mother Earth. The thing about phytoplankton was it had such amazing results, I had to go to the books to find out what's happening. So the first thing I looked at was most people, well everybody, had this ama amazing change with their, their muscular systems and also the people had noticed that they weren't hungry so their sugar levels had changed. So if you go down to a cellular level, what part of the cell actually has an effect on sugar level? Well, if you look at the cell, there's a part of the cell called the mitochondria. And I think, I can't prove this, but it, it's logical. The common sense thing says that um, insulin resistance is because the cell can't handle the sugar anymore and it says no more. So insulin, the hormone that pushes the sugar into the cell, all of a sudden the cell's not having that anymore because if it keeps going, it's going to completely damage the energy producer in the cell called the mitochondria. And if it does that, the cell is dead because 90% of all the functions in that cell rely on the mitochondria to produce an energy molecule called ATP. Without that energy molecule, 90% of the functions of that cell cannot happen. So when I looked at it, it made a lot of sense. And then I looked further. What's really interesting is, a lot of the common diseases we're having today, what are they finding? They're finding damage to the cellular level, the mitochondria at the cellular level whether it's heart disease, whether it's um, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, um, any muscular related diseases, any neurological diseases, Alzheimer's, those kinds of things, they're finding the exact same thing. Phytoplankton is such a complete nutrient. And when I look at a complete nutrient, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for as close to nature as possible. And, and in all of the indigenous peoples of the world, the reason they're so healthy and all of the studies that show that they have the better complexions and the better teeth and don't have dental care but their teeth are okay and they're healthy and they live a long life is because they eat very close to nature. And so the closer to nature you can get, the better you will survive because the better nutrients can be transferred to your cells. Mr. Harper continues to be acknowledged for inventing this one-of-a-kind process while staying true to his vision and purpose. As a family, we're working really hard not to allow a lot of false hype and a lot of media um, hype um, to interfere with the integrity of this product. The intent is to share this with people from a, from a place of authenticity and, and, and truth. As for the Harper family, discovering how fragile life truly is, every day is a gift. They are just thankful to have another day. Thankfully was uh, insightful enough to see that this needed to stick around and he needed to stick his finger in that tank of algae and start eating it and, and I, I to this day am floored that he trusted himself enough especially when his body was that worn down and he was that sick he still had enough intuition and enough of a gut feeling and connection with his heart to truly go with his instinct, and his instinct was 
to stick his finger in that tub of phytoplankton and eat it.